Welcome back to the PhoneGap Essentials course on NetTuts Plus Premium. In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe PhoneGap Build, which is a cloud build service for PhoneGap applications. In a previous lesson, I spoke about Adobe's business model regarding PhoneGap. Cordova, which is the open source core of PhoneGap, will always be open source and free to use. Adobe then offers tools and services surrounding Cordova under the name of PhoneGap. One of those services is PhoneGap Build, which is a cloud build service which allows you to export your Cordova project to all of the supported devices without installing the SDKs and development environments on your computer. If you plan on exporting for three or more different platforms, this can greatly cut down your development time. The service also integrates directly with a source code repository, such as Git or SVN. This is potentially very convenient as it, as it allows a distributed team to work on the same project whilst exporting for many devices for testing, all from the same code base. And the best thing is, you can try it out for free. PhoneGap Build offers two plans, the free plan and the paid plan. In both, with both plans, you can have as many open source applications as you like. You can also have as many collaborators working on your applications. In fact, the only difference is how many private apps you can have. If you'd like to have a private app, that is, an app that you would like to use commercially to sell and you don't want everybody to be able to have access to it, you are allowed to have one on the free plan or up to 25 on the paid plan. So let's sign in and see what it's all about. Once you sign in, you'll be shown a page with all of your current applications. Applications can either be uploaded as a zip folder, or they can be referenced as a GitHub code repository. This app here, the PhoneGap Getting Started app, is actually an open source app. I didn't make it. I just referenced the GitHub page. Let's go to the code repository and have a look at the anatomy of a PhoneGap build application. This PhoneGap Getting Started app is actually just a modified version of the default application that you get when you use the create command. Unlike the default application, this application consists only of the www folder. The key difference you'll find is the config.xml file. This contains all the settings that Adobe PhoneGap Build needs to create your applications. It contains information on which version of PhoneGap you're using, the default orientation you wish to use, and also the location of all the various icons and splash screens for all the various platforms. You'll notice in the Resources folder, rather than just having icons for one platform, we have the icons for all of them. This particular getting started package is very useful in this respect as you don't need to research and find out which icon size you need for Blackberry versus which icon sizes you need for iOS. It also contains all of the different splash screens for all the different platforms. As you can see there are many different sizes for Android whereas Bada only has one. I'm going to download this project as a zip folder so that we can go through the process of creating a new application on PhoneGap Build. From the PhoneGap Build Start page, simply click on Add New App. We can now upload our zip file, and the project is added to our apps. If we click on Ready to Build, you can see PhoneGap Build compiling each of the platforms. It's exporting this application for Android, Windows Phone, Blackberry, HP WebOS, and even Symbian. We still can't export for iOS yet because we have not uploaded our developer's certificates. If we look at one of the apps I've prepared earlier, you can now see that these buttons are just simple links that download our packaged applications. I could now install this APK file on my Android phone and it would run as a normal app. To export for iOS, you'll need to add a new key. This is where you enter in your certificate and provisioning profile. To be sure that your certificate and provisioning profile work, however, I would suggest that you test it in your own development environment. I would never suggest using Adobe PhoneGap Build as your sole method of development, however. 
It's great if you wish to export from multiple platforms, but I would always at least have the iOS development platform and the Android development platform set up on my computer for testing. Exporting with PhoneGap Build is a slow process and wouldn't fit well with the instant feedback you need for debugging programs. As I said, PhoneGap Build is a great service for exporting to multiple platforms. Nobody wants to install seven different development platforms on their computer, but I still think your primary development cycle should be on your own computer with whichever platforms are most important to your project. So if you'd like a bit of homework between lessons, I suggest you get to know a Git or SVN versioning system. Create a code repository on Git and try out PhoneGap Build. Get to know how it works. It's incredibly powerful and imperative for sharing a code base between team members. So why not sign up and create your own code base? That's all for now. Check back in for Lesson 5, where we'll be discussing the Events API of PhoneGap. Ciao!